Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to Marguerite Miller Week 19. I am trying things a little bit differently today with my camera. I'm playing around with some camera angles and camera positions. So we'll see how this goes. So today we need something found in a doctor's office. And I have the cover from the Saturday Evening Post. Because you find magazines in a doctor's office often. A spiral or a swirl pattern, which is what I think I'm going to do for my background. A textured paper, which is right here. This was some handmade paper that I made, and I made it too thick. So it's really not very good for much, so I figured it'll be perfect for this. A coupon. I have I got managed to find everything in a green color, so I have a theme going here. We when we go to see our sh the shows up at Jiva, which is a professional theater up in Rochester, New York, we have a subscription. We go to we like the theater. Every time we go, we have to pay five dollars for parking, and we get an event parking ticket, and it's always in lots of different colors. So I found one that's green. A measurement. Well, this one I found a little bit hard to figure out, but this is an ad for Omaha Steaks, and there are the measurements, the weights of all of these different pieces of meat in this pack. And I thought, okay, a weight is a type of measurement, so we're going to go with that. And then something that starts with D. Okay, first of all, my name starts with D, so I have a D stamp, but... Then I thought, well, I should probably put something else in, and I should probably put in like a dog or something. And then I found this dog, and I said, perfect. There's Scooby-Doo, the dog. Okay, so like I said, I am a little bit... Um, I'm doing this standing up, which is not something I generally do. I like to sit down when I make my videos and get comfy and do my crafting. And this time it's going to be a little bit different. Okay, I want to make this one about eight inches. This is an eight and a half sheet by, uh, that I'm using, but I think I'm going to go with eight by ten. Okay, and then while I have my cutter out, I want the top of the Saturday Evening Post. I, I get this magazine... And I kept this cover because it's absolutely stunning. And my thought was I would use that as a page and a signature somewhere at some point. But right now I'm just going to take off my title. So I just have it saying Saturday Evening Post. Okay, and let's cut down the Omaha Steaks because I don't really need the whole ad. This was actually the back cover of the Saturday Evening Post this month. I like the stories. Always have. Okay. Um, I don't need the $99. Let's go ahead and take that part off. And we'll trim it down over here along the side. Okay, I don't know if I want, still want the whole thing or not, but that should finish off our cutting. All right, let me grab my glue book. I'm just hoping I'm not really too close to the microphone with all of this. I guess we'll find out. Okay, getting my glue out here. And let's go ahead and glue this down on top of my page. For those of you who are just joining in to the Marguerite Miller Challenges, my glue book, this book, is actually a, a novel. It's, it's a, a draft of a novel that I wrote that is as yet unpublished. I suppose someday I'll get around to doing it. Um, I actually have a couple of very nice rejection letters. And although I'm published under a different name, that's a little, still a little bit wide, isn't it? Well, it's too bad. It's the way we're going to go. We're going to stick with it. I am published under a different name, Diana Hunter. 
Okay, the Saturday Evening Post really does need to go up at the top because that's where it belongs all the time anyway. I'm going to try bringing you up a little bit so I can get you a little bit more in frame. There we go. I'm going to try that. I have my event parking. Okay, I need, I obviously don't want all of this, and it really is very, very thick. But let's take that off. That can be recycled, reused. Actually, it would make a nice pocket. Maybe to make a nice pocket for this. Okay. I'm going to get out my Rustic Wilderness and my little doodad here. My top broke. Oh well, it was cheap. It was a cheap set. What can I say? We're going to go ahead and do this in green since the whole thing seems to have a green theme. I I think it's spring. I think it's that I want spring because everything I've been doing lately has been shades of green. All right, let's put that aside. So that will now fit down right in there. I don't know about the event parking. Okay, my signature grill pack. I think I like that better. We'll cover that up a little bit. And then we just have Scooby and a, some D stamping, which we will do with that same Rustic Wilder. This is Rustic Wilderness Distress Oxide. I'm learning the differences, the Distress Oxides. You know what? I don't want this down here. It's not that pretty. So I'm going to put this here. And one of the things I've learned about the Distress Oxides is that they are uh, a little bit lighter in color. Okay, so we'll put you down here. And I think we're going to put you up a little bit. But I think for you, we definitely need Fabri-Tac because you are very bumpy and very, very thick. We talk about textured. This is textured paper for sure. I do have several other sheets that came out much nicer, but uh, this one I just got too thick. Okay, so we're gonna stick you in there. Ah, let's not put it all, okay, let's let it dry first. Okay, while that's drying, we can put the Saturday evening post piece on. I don't know if I like doing this standing up. I'm going to go back over to this side. My event parking. It has the parking policy on the back end, but don't need that. I just need a, a coupon. So there's my coupon. Yeah, I'm finding this a little hard because I have to either look at the screen, and which I can't really see because there's the, the piece that's holding the camera up is on there. Okay, let's get out a D here. Obviously, I, you know, I spent $1.50 on these. I think I got these at Big Lots many, many years ago. And I have used them a couple of times. You know, with the last name being D. Let me grab a piece here. They are very, very sticky because I don't use them hardly at all. In fact, I haven't used these. I don't think I've ever used this top one. But I like the thought better with the other things that are on here. So... Let me see if I can get this off. Okay, I'm going to pause while I get this off. I did it. I I win. So let me now 
see if it will take ink. Okay, it seems to have. So we're going to put our D right over here. Yeah, it works. Um, I don't have a stamp. Yes, I do have a stamping off page. Sorry for my reach. This one is obviously full and needs... I need to get a new one. Okay, covering up my oxide. I'll deal with my stamp later, but let's put Scooby down. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Oh, look, you fit right into that D. That's really good. Okay, so we have something found in a doctor's office, which is a magazine, a swirl pattern for our background, textured paper, a coupon, a measurement. We have a weight measurement here, and something that starts with a D. So there we are. This is our Marguerite Miller Challenge Week 19. When we get to 21, we'll do a retrospective and see what all has, whether I've grown as an artist or not. I still think we need something up there. Don't you think we need something up there? Oh, what do you think? What do you think? I don't want to put another D up there. Or do I just want to maybe put this up? There we go. That'll balance it off. Because right now it's a little unbalanced. So we'll just put our... Something found in a doctor's office. Our whole list will go right there. All right. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button to let YouTube know that you're liking them. And hit the notifications if you want the bell for notifications if you want to know when the next video comes out. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.